if you just looked at the exterior of this car, you might say, well, it's just another Nissan GTR. What's that doing here again? But Nissan has been very diligently chipping away at this car. They've been improving the power from the V6 twin turbo, and they've been working on things like more refinement for the gearbox and better ride quality. So yeah, while the concept is the same, this car is better and faster and smoother than it's ever been. So yeah, of course we had to include it. It's still a bit of a gaming console to drive, but a lot of people like that. And believe me, when the chips are down, this is F-A-S-T. It hasn't got as much runs as I thought it did have. It's got a nice full drive system. Um, it's certainly the, I did a 47.5 and the, the time doesn't really reflect the car, but it feels quite heavy. It's, you know, it's quite sophisticated. It's got a, a nice engine, but it, it, I didn't think of that as much as I thought. It uh, there's nothing terrible wrong with it. It's just, you know, it's, it was a bit new and it certainly shows its boldness. It is the Terminator, that car. You get in it and it wants to do one thing, it wants to go fast. Hey, yes, I will go fast. Is it fun? Yeah, it is fun, but it's more interested in just going up a road as quickly as physically possible. But you do get the feeling that if it could replace you with more computer to go faster, it would. The Nissan GTR on the track, all-wheel drive, a lot of power, but a lot of usable power as well. It was raining cats and dogs for the first time I went out in it and it was a little bit hairy. But I got a couple of laps in the semi-dry. Hang on for the ride. It is still an absolute clinical weapon of a car. Uh, the Nissan GTR is a much improved car in 2017. It's always been super fast, but you've really got to struggle to live with it because it had so much transmission noise, the ride was brutal. Whereas now it's actually quite a nice tour. For a while I kept comparing it to the other supercars here and then remembering it's up to $300,000 cheaper than it. Which brings it into perspective of what an amazing performance bargain that car is. In the grand scheme of things, it's a very impressive car, it deserves to do well, but I just couldn't ever see myself owning one.